six, a helping hand with your land. Hi, Cody from Messick's Precision Farming Department. Today we're going to do a quick demo on how to install new firmware on your Easy Guide 250 display. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download the firmware onto a computer and copy it to a flash drive. I'll share a link in the description below where you can go to download that firmware. Not all flash drives are compatible with the Easy Guide 250. A couple that I have used and confirmed would be the Kingston Data Traveler and also the Sandus Cruiser. After you have the firmware downloaded and copied onto a flash drive, you're going to want to take that flash drive to your display. First, power on your display. Once the display is powered on, you want to take your flash drive and plug it into the back of the display. Once the flash drive is installed on the back of the display, it will give you a message across the bottom saying that it recognizes the flash drive. It will also give you a little image here of a flash drive and that will be green if it is ready to use. To start the installation process, you're going to scroll to your wrench, hit OK, then scroll to System, hit OK, then we're going to go to the Firmware Upgrade Wizard. Once in there, it'll give you a warning saying that you're about to upgrade new files to the display, and you're just going to hit OK for the green check mark. Then it gives you your file selection. There should only be one file on the flash drive that the display can recognize, and that will be the new 3.10 firmware. So you're going to just um, have that selected and hit OK. At this point, it will give you the progress of the firmware upgrade and show you it erasing the old firmware and writing the new firmware. Once the firmware has been written, the display will go ahead and restart itself. Once the display has restarted, you can then go ahead and remove the flash drive from the back of the display. At this point, it's going to give you a warning, letting you know that it was disconnected, and you're going to want to restart your display once again. If you would like to further confirm that the firmware has been upgraded, just simply scroll to the settings and about the easy guide and it will tell you there your version number is 3.10.038.4. So if we can help you with any precision farming products like this, give us a call here at Messix. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at messix.com.